hello everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for the tune in to my returning subscribers i hope you're all doing great today to those who are new here my name is mc i'm into luxury fashion lifestyle and beauty so if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please consider subscribing don't forget to turn that notification bell on so you won't miss out all the videos i upload without further ado let's just get right into it since i bought my sailor on bag that was last month october i have been using it constantly except on one occasion so i figure i do kind of a uh, what fits inside and what i carry in the bag video as well as my thoughts and opinions about it so i'm just gonna talk a little bit about it which is this bag it has a very long name on the YSL website and on my receipt, but I'm just going to call it as YSL Medium College Bag, which people, most people call it, but sometimes they pronounce it as collage uh, and instead of college, I don't know which is which, but yes, this is it. I have unboxed this. I'm going to... Uh, put the link somewhere up here and if you haven't watched or if you haven't seen that unboxing video please watch so i've also mentioned the price and some uh, details about the bag so this beauty here has two sizes the large and medium this is in the medium size i don't think there will be a smaller version for this bag because as it is the medium is already small in appearance and capacity so the size is 9.5 in inches in length 7 inches in height and 3 inches in width this also has a vintage gold hardware or antique gold so this is a quilted grain lambskin shoulder bag in black. I love the carry handle at the top and the detachable curb chain strap with logo plus the leather strap pad. And it says here, Saint Laurent, Paris. Sorry guys, if you see my nails like this, anyway there's a logo plaque at the face while patch packet at the back it has this beautiful flap over with magnetic press stud fastening the magnet is so strong before i mention to you the details of the interior of this bag I want to show you first what's inside because I still have my personal uh, things here. So this is what it looks like. I have here my signies. I've used this last time so it's still here. Let me just put it. I also have my mini pochette. Inside the mini pochette. I have my uh, tiny or small wipes, my favorite lipstick from Hermes, it's the Indian Rose from the Rouge collection. I also have a lip balm from Chanel, a perfume travel size from Jo Malone and a dental floss next i have here remember guys uh the one that came with the release pochette so i also carry this inside and it fits i put cash even coins uh receipts in this pouch so so useful 
and this one as well the six ring key holder from louis vuitton lastly my card holder from ysl you can see i put here my credit cards debit cards driver's license so on and so forth and that's it i have here my authenticity card so on the inside it's a tonal gross grain lining a card slot here and zippered packet at uh, two compartments interior you can still see the sticker on the pull tab i'm not sure if you can see it clearly because it's black and this is made in paris saint laurent paris so the slight con for this bag is when you close it and it's hard to open when there is no or and nothing inside and when you close it even if it's loaded with stuff it's still hard to close because you have to align the stud properly i don't mind i just love this so as to my thoughts and opinion about this bag i feel that it is not an everyday bag and it is perfect for those who do not carry so much stuff with them just like me and even when the strap is chain it feels so light and very comfortable on your shoulder so so versatile it can be worn handheld shoulder and crossbody I love it even if it doesn't have fit because you know a small bag like this is designed to be always on your lap and one more thing that I like about this bag is it can be transitioned from day to night all you have to do is to detach or remove the strap and you're good to go at night but i feel that it is not a bag for a formal occasion so that is something that you have to consider when you're looking for such so that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed if you did don't forget to give this a thumbs up and if you have questions or suggestions don't forget to leave them in the comment section down below i'll get back to you as soon as i can i'll see you on my next one Bye.